Our students, Brian Proctor back again with another video, and this one got a little crazy. It just got a little crazy and weird. And this is going to be the paper doll technique part two, drawing the male anatomy or using shapes to create the male anatomy. So basically this whole video was to show you how simple it is to do the male figure. A lot of people have trouble doing that still, but it's just shapes, shapes, shapes over and over. I keep saying shapes. So let's go on to this crazy video and see what happens. So I won't be doing this one again, that's for sure. All right, let's go over here and draw. All right, and welcome to the paper doll technique part two. All right, so this is this is the male edition. I did the first one was female edition, so this is the male edition. Now these are the shapes that you will need to draw the male figure. Now one thing I always, 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 always get on people about is learning to draw your shapes because everything in life is a shape with <clears throat> a little tweaking done to it. For instance, where's my examples? Like, here you have this shape, this little pencil sharpener. It's, it's almost a square. Oh, let me focus my camera. I'll put it on focus lock. Hold on. Okay, as I was saying, this little pencil sharpener, neat little pencil sharpener here. You could almost say this is a square, but it's, um, rounded off just a little bit on the edges you know so that's that's close to being a square and the bottom is more of an oval with circles simple simple shapes simple shapes this fingernail clippers fingernail clippers this could be a cylinder we just round it off here or if you want to go to for a um triangle you know even from the side you have your your triangle right here everything is a shape even this big boy right here shapes Shapes, circles, um, uh, triangles on top of it. This could be an oval, upside down, cylinder, uh, more cylinders with triangles on top of it. And this is a massager, it's a back massager, just in case people are like, what in the world is that back massager? So yeah, once you understand what I'm trying to beat into you, draw your shapes. When you start to draw, if this is you when you as a beginner when you as soon as you pick up a pencil you need to be drawing your shapes because everything is a shape as i said my nieces came over for the holidays and they have a little artistic ability into them so i asked them to draw something and right away they started drawing let's just use this head here the detail in the picture that i gave them i gave them a little something to draw and they started just drawing the detail and i was like no 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 look at the overall shape first draw the overall shape lightly then you come back put your details in because if you put details in in the beginning by the time you get down here and if you see you messed up you throw on all of that paper away because you got great details from here to here but you messed up here and you're not going to erase it so you get mad and you throw it away and say, I can't draw, I can't draw. And so that's where you lose, where we lose, the world loses a lot of artists because they don't understand the whole technique about drawing. The secret is draw the shape first, draw the overall, whatever shape this thing is close to that you're drawing, draw that shape. I'm looking for something. Draw that shape first, like Garfield. If you drew Garfield, first thing I see is a big oval here. A big oval there, flattened out, two triangles on the top. This slope right here could be like a long kind of W type of thing. So yeah, just, just draw the overall shape. Stop trying to draw detail first until you get the whole thing done and you will make it through life being an artist. So let's get down to this. These are the shapes you gonna, are we, gonna, we are going to use. Simple oval, oval, circle, circle, circle. This is more, it could be, it's more like a baseball plate, the, the home plate which is, could be just your, um, I don't know why I just lost that. Okay, so this is your upside down house shape. This is an upside down house shape too, but it goes in, it goes in. Yeah, triangle, triangle, cylinder, cylinder here, but it goes in, so this could actually be a, let's put it in the camera, it could be a triangle. Cylinder, two more cylinders and two more cylinders or triangles. Simple, simple shape to do once you know how to do it. So now let's get to the fun part. Now I took the liberty of, and I'm gonna have to pull back with my camera on this one. I took the liberty of shaping it up just a little bit more or tweaking it, which I say every everything has a shape to it. You just have to kind of like tweak it a little bit to, to actually match what it is that you're looking to draw. So let me pull this camera back. 
All right, ignore the mess on the sides. This is this is a far shot of my drawing table, which is very messy. So as I said, again, these are the shapes you're going to use to draw the character or the male figure. Now, I took the liberty of kind of shaping it up a little bit. As I say, you have to you have to kind of tweak every shape. So I just I took the liberty of tweaking it already. So when we put this thing together, then you will have your your male. Now, as I said, you have your oval oval and your circle circle and let me hold up because i've i've gotten a whole lot of comments about not being able to draw a circle or draw an oval and i've showed this in one video one or two videos if you write the word book and then you put the number 100 you've just drawn two circles and two ovals without any pressure so for those people that say, I can't draw a circle, I can't draw an oval, you're lying to yourself. You can. Every time you write and you use a, the letter O or you use the, the, the number zero, you're doing, this, you're, doing, you're doing circles and ovals. So stop shooting yourself in the foot before the race begins and then know that you can draw a circle and an oval. All right, back to this. First thing you want to do and when you do your chest is the oval here. Now, I took the liberty of cutting this part out. Because when you're drawing, that's the one thing you want to do. You want to cut that, that part out. Not so much cut it out, but you want to draw this. That's where your stomach is going to go. All right, now I've, I've done the lines here, and I call that my the beetle technique. That's something I had to kind of teach myself so that I always know where the um, how the torso goes. So from the torso, and let's use this, this piece right here, this piece right here, this upside down house. If I put a center line in it and it's cut out crooked, okay, it's going to go down. This is going to be your neck. Let's just put it down here to where the shoulder, where it meets the shoulder, the edges meet the shoulder. Oval. And this is where my hands get crazy because I've got big hands and sticky fingers. Oval. Now these are cut out for a particular reason. These were going to be your shoulders. These were going to be the shoulders here but I decided to cut them out in a different shape for a particular reason and I'll show you that particular reason so this is going to be your shoulder and your collarbone here now once I get this out of the way I'll move everything up I might need some tweezers to do my operations again because as I said I've got big hands this is why I don't I was never a clock maker or watch repair or something that uses little techniques so you have that now this piece right here this little square cylinder or as I call it a tuna can if you if you're looking straight at it it's gonna be like that if you're gonna look above it it's gonna be like that like a hockey puck or a tuna can I call it tuna can because I don't play hockey that's gonna go down here right connected to that and I'm just saying these are just these are just shapes these are shapes once you learn to draw these shapes you'll be drawing characters left and right your other upside down house right here right there and I can lift that up a little bit now in, with the female I use one color but the male I wanted to go all out and use some color paper so we have that here now let me move these things over and see if I can pull these guys up pull this guy up I don't know how tall it's going to be because I never really put it all together and as I say, I need some tweezers or something to do this. As soon as I take my hand off, it's all going to move anyway. And this is your coming off of your that oval. This is where these circles are going to be. These are your delts. Yeah, it shifted a little bit, but anyway, this is your 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 waist, and of course the trunk. Was it what they be called a trunk? All right, so I'm noticing now that I'm looking at my monitor. I've got my lights going here because I have my window open. It's it's cold, but it's a nice bright day, and that's interfering with my thought train of thought. So let me close my windows, and I'll be right back. All right, so I don't know how long that's been shiny and sparkly on my paper, but yeah, I do apologize for that. Okay, so we have that. The two ovals, which are right here, the two thick ovals. 
they're going to take the place of your thighs. And as I said, I just, I just kind of cut them out a little bit or took the liberty of shaping them up just a little bit. And all it is, is you have your oval or your oval, your cylinder, and then you're just going to curve it around just a little bit. Here's my brush. So you take that and just curve it around. That's all. Same thing with the other side. Take it. Curve it around just a little bit. Not too much. You don't want to have the guy bow-legged. You don't want your character all bow-legged. So that. Circles for your knee. You don't have to, but you do need a piece of a knee somewhere, somehow. Oh, I think the big ones were knee. These are going to be for your elbows. And I think everybody that draws in the beginning will always draw that, that, those circles for your arms and your, your legs. So if you just thought of your arm, beginning artists always do that for the, the motion, the movement of the joint. So basically, that's what these are. So I believe these were the bottom parts of your legs. And cylinders again, cylinders again. And when I was doing that, I was like, you know, that'd make a cool character. So you can actually do your character like that. Do your character, cut it out. Why would I cut it out, Brian? Why not? Your feet are basically triangles like this. Just triangles. So what I did here was I just cut out a little kind of a little dip right there for the feet because it was just kind of looking weird to me. So just stick that right up under there till it fits. Stick this other one right up under there till it fits. And then, you know, you, you see right away, hey, just using these shapes, I have a man. I have a character. Now, you, you're going to have this round part here left over. So basically, these are basically, these are these tri <clears throat> triangles here. But I cut it down because when I cut it out, it was a little too long. And I'm losing my voice. So you're going to have your shoulders on top of that bring that head up if I can without messing everything else up yeah he shifted playing with paper dolls basically it's shapes top part of your arm going to be the fatter part which is going to be I think those were the arms, those were the legs. Either way, it's going to come off, and this I'll show you in a second why I cut those out like that, cut these out, the shoulder parts out like that. And I have a point here. Every time I touch it, it moves. And you notice I have the lines because everything should line up. That point, there's a point right there, your Adam's apple. Not your Adam's apple, your, I can't think of what it's called. It's right there at the bottom of your neck. That represents that, which, which is goes straight down. Yeah, Brian, keep on, keep on, keep on messing it up. All for the sake of a lesson. All right, I think I got it back together, but it took me actually 10 minutes to get this thing right. This thing has turned out to be a nightmare, so I hope you guys appreciate what I'm doing. So here we go again. Arm. I'm trying not to move this stuff. Top part of the arm, top part of the arm. Cylinder, cylinder. That's going to lift up and that's going to move. Yeah, you see I had to pull my tools out. It shifted again. Jeez, you know, this is why I don't drink. I'd be all over the place. All right, anyway, you get the gist. Elbow, circle, elbow, circle. Simple, 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 simple. Bottom of the arm. Took the, 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 um, to cut the shape out. I can't think of the word right now because it's frustrating me to try to put paper doll together. And then the hands. Don't worry too much about the hands. Yeah, that's kind of long. It could be pulled back a little bit. This circle should be on top of the arm, but I put it on top of the arm. It's going to mess up for the, the, the red thing here and here. So your, your, your wrist should end right here at your crotch. If your wrist comes down lower, then your arm is too long. If it's not down that far, it's too short. All right, Brian, pull out the tools. Pull out the tools. Do what you got to do. Operation from MD. I remember that game. Yeah, don't, I, will, I will never do another one of these again, ever, ever, ever. Okay, so basically you have the shape of your, your, your man, and then you threw your hands in there. Hands are different. Hands are a whole different story. So... 
simply, simply by using those shapes. God, his arms are long. That's okay. That's all right. It's all good. <laughs> simply by using these shapes, you can create or draw of your figure. People say they can't draw. You can draw if you use your shape. See, then I'm messing with this again. I'm telling you, it took me 10 minutes to get this thing right, to, to get it to where, yeah. So now, the reason I did this like this, like a little whistle almost, is because a lot of people, when they draw, and I did this for the female, a lot of people, when they draw, because they use dummies all the time, they use the little dummies like this. Let me show you. They use these little figures like that. And the thing is, some of them, this, I mean, this one's not too bad. Some of them, if they can raise their arms, if they can raise their arms, I'm not looking at the monitor. You don't have this shoulder. You don't have this part on your characters that move, this blue part. And so when they draw, they draw, I'm trying to do this without messing this guy up. The 10 minute man, they'll draw this. Here's his head. Here's the neck. Here's the, the shoulder, shoulder. And then they'll just draw up like that. This is how he raises his arms like that. You have this, you have this, chest, chest. And then because, because we only see the little ball joint in the, in the toys, that's all we have to go by because we don't have a realistic figure. They do have them now. If you can afford them, they have more realistic. And he can raise his arms up and this part will raise up just like it's supposed to on a natural body. So this is why I cut out the red here because you have your collarbone, your collarbone, and that, that goes right over top of this little ball here. So when you lift your arms up, these two collarbones, this collarbone, well, depending on what arm you lift up, it's going to go down and this ball is going to go up and this arm, it will be like this and that shoulder will scrunch up. Okay, now we're going to get into the frustrating area again. It's going to go down like that. This shoulder here, this piece of the shoulder is going to scrunch up. Don't move on me. And then you have... Turn that around. It's going to be like that. But you have to have that collarbone now because in the drawing, people have the collarbones and the collarbones are straight like that. They're straight. And then we have a little ball here because they don't really know what that part looks like because your figures here are stable. So we don't know exactly what it's going to do or what it looks like when it goes up. What I say to people is if you are in a tight spot drawing if you can't find something online then take a picture of yourself set your camera look at stand in the mirror take a picture of yourself and what your arm does or your shoulder does or your leg does and then just draw that as best you can from that and once you learn how to what it looks like over and over again then you won't need any reference so if i put both of his arms up they would both go that way as well and then it would it would this disappears because it, it, it crunch, scrunches it up, scrunches it up. So the arm would be here. This would flip over to curve inward. As soon as I take my finger off the yellow, it's going to move. Like that. Don't move. Ah. That's my blooper. That is my blooper. So I'm going to cut this and put this guy right back together again. All right. One more time. So the higher you lift your arms up, the more these collarbones are gonna the collarbones are gonna go up to that V shape, bringing this part of the arm up, this little ball here, up as well, and then it's connected to your arms. Of course, you know that. So next time you draw somebody with their arms up, just remember, <sighs> collarbone goes up. Collarbone goes up. What little shoulders here is going to get scrunched up. Here's your neck. Here's your head. Now that's going to go into this, this collarbone. And then, of course, this circle is going to be here, which is the delt. And then your arm is behind that, like that. So it's going to curve up like this. I know this is small. I shouldn't do this. And then your arm is here. And then from there, your chest comes 
down like that. It won't be it won't be flat. Okay, how am I gonna draw this? This is your chest. Your shoulder, neck, shoulder, arm. Your chest is like this. If you're drawing, you know, your, your muscular character, that's your chest. So when you throw that arm up, the chest is not going to be square like that anymore. It's going to go, here's your, here's your collarbone here, delt, your arm. So that's going to come down like this. Your chest is going to take that shape. You, this All this is going to get kind of pushed in because the muscles are going to go like this versus coming like this. And then this will be the other part of your arm, your delt, your elbow, arm, and then your lats are gonna come out like this and down and then your stomach. So that's just remember that and this is the reason why I cut that out so that you can know how the collarbone works. Because I've seen a lot of people that send me the drawings and the character is flying or holding something up, but they don't know how that shoulder actually works. Touch it, Brian, and mess it all up. I know I'm going to, but this video is over now. So yeah. I mean you can shift it and play with it, but yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go crazy and have them you know, like do some boogie down dance or something like that. Because it's just gonna move on me. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's the short and sweet video showing you guys how to use shapes. Just shapes, shapes, simple things. Stop trying to draw detail right away and then just do overall, do your overall shape of something and then do detail. Draw lightly, draw your overall shapes. That's like anytime I'll draw an oval or something, I'll just do like this until I get the shape right and it just loosens up the hand versus if I try to draw a circle. So perfect because it was something that my niece was doing, trying to do it so perfect, and it didn't. And she would uh, erase it and try to do it again, and uh, erase it and try to do it again. And after a while, kids don't have any patience, so then they'll give up. They're like, ah, oh, I can't draw, I can't draw, and they'll give up and they'll run away, and they'll never become that great artist that they were meant to be. So, shapes, shapes, do your shapes, practice. Don't get frustrated, kids. So, that's going to be it for this. Part two, playing with paper dolls or the paper doll technique. And then, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Wave goodbye bye, uh, troublemaking man. This is the wrong hand for this. He's going to have to be flipped over. So let's use this. So just wave bye bye. Say bye bye. Yeah, so long, everybody. So long, so long. Your hand's in the way. Try again. Take two. So long, so long. Anyway, I'm out. I'll see you guys later. I broke his neck. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bells ringing. Go home. <laughs> nice position.